Countryfile star Julia Bradbury bravely reveals mastectomy 16 months after breast cancer surgery. Julia Bradbury bravely revealed her mastectomy scar 16 months after undergoing breast cancer surgery. During the Countryfile presenter's operation, doctors removed a 6cm tumor from her left breast and following the procedure, she underwent chemotherapy for several months. Now reflecting on how far she's come in a new Instagram post, the 52-year-old shared a new photo of the incision scar and highlighted how it's healing months on. Pointing towards the area with arrows, Bradbury captioned the image, Isn't it amazing how the body heals? Breast cancer 16 months on. The TV presenter then went on to recite a poignant poem by Terrin O'Brien, titled Owning Our Scars. After posting her update, many of the BBC Star's 227,000 followers shared messages of support and thanked her for sharing her journey with them. One wrote, Our body's power to heal, truly is amazing and miraculous. Thanks for sharing, I've never heard this poem but such true words, another penned. I, had, a double mastectomy 16 months ago too. Your documentary was really helpful for me but also for my parents and family to understand the journey. A third added, you are, without doubt, a remarkable lady. I sincerely wish you good health for the rest of your life. You're an inspiration. The broadcaster has presented BBC programmes like Counterfile and Watchdog, and is also president of the Camping and Caravanning Club. The star, who is married to property developer Gerard Cunningham, announced she had been diagnosed with cancer in September 2021, and underwent surgery to remove the tumour and reconstruct her breast a month later. Recently, she revealed that her diagnosis has made her evaluate what's important in her life, and now she sees things differently. Speaking to The Sun, she said, I'm grateful for every single day and I do look at life differently. Certainly. Obviously when something like a cancer diagnosis comes your way, your whole world becomes about that. How you are going to handle it and the impact on your family, friends and loved ones. You don't think too far into the future, but, about getting through things, day by day. I decided very early on that I was going to try and maintain a very positive mindset. And that I would approach it a bit like a TV project, which was to learn everything.